You know, sometimes people just don't learn from their mistakes all the times, and I am definitely one of those people. Yesterday, I uploaded a video called I'm Switching Back. That is still true, I'm still here, but oh boy did I make a critical error, and that is just installing the very first release of a new piece of software, especially something as large as KDE Plasma, jumping into the environment, hitting record, and think everything is going to be all fine and dandy. No, it was not. <laughs> I ran into uh, numerous bugs and issues and it, it, it kind of sucked because I did try out the operating system or the desktop environment for a good couple hours before I went to record it. I didn't notice anything too substantial other than a little issue with installing it, which I'll get into. But while recording, first I noticed OBS glitchy as hell. It's currently looking pretty good right now, so that's a good sign. They just updated to the 0.1 fix version. There was an issue with fractional scaling. So if I go, we can see it, it seems to be working good. Or actually, I can't really tell. I just started and stopped the recording. Uh, <laughs> I hope that's a VLC issue. See, I'm still running into things. There was an issue with fractional scaling. So if I go, we can see, okay, good. It, it's <laughs> So before we had an issue with fractional scaling, the cursor wasn't where it should be, at least in the recorded section of the video. I did change it while recording, so that may have been the problem. And my God, my audio was absolutely atrocious. I checked all the settings, everything was perfect, but I think it's, what are we running here? Yeah, just, just the audio was absolutely horrible. It sounded muddy and compressed and garbage. So then I ended up having to run it through the Adobe podcast enhancing tool and then making me sound like a robot. And search up overview, which this would be under desktop effects. So that was super cool, and I definitely wasn't the only one to experience bugs. If we go over here, nope. Sorry, wrong web browser. We can see here's an announcement of their 6.0.1 release, which the point of this video is always wait for the point one. That is absolutely critical to having a decent experience, no matter the software that you plan on using. This update fixed some weird kind of blue outlining effects in the desktop grid view. There were issues within the add widgets and a whole lot more. If I go over here and go to the actual change log, this goes over everything that was just fixed and I just got all this updated. You can see there's a lot of fixes with Wayland. There's a bunch of different bug fixes, which hopefully this will fix basically everything that I ran into initially. And that's another big thing with releases like this. And that's why it's very important if you are having or testing pre-release or beta software to actually report any issues that you are experiencing because then when they come out with the official release, there's going to be bugs and things like that. And it may result in people having bad experiences with those initial releases. Unless if they could weed all that out in beta, but a lot of people who use beta software don't end up reporting everything if anything they just kind of want to play around with it so it's really good that they came out with this and they did it rather quickly it only took them a couple days after the initial release to fix a lot of the issues that people were having and i kind of should have been warned because i had an issue while i was installing if i go over here this is actually a form post that i ended up using to fix the issue i had which was this right here and i don't know if it's just me but i've always had some sort of trouble installing uh, KDE Neon no matter what system. There's always something that goes wrong. It's rare that I don't have to try to reinstall it at least a couple of times. This one was a Python file in the network CFG folder. I don't really know what the issue was, but somebody posted this, so I uh, reluctantly downloaded this uh, Python file from Swiss Transfer. Uh, main.py and then put it into the proper folder logged in logged out disconnected from the internet and it worked so big shout out to uh, rog.gts thank you <laughs> and let's see if i go up here obs is still looking good and i do see some of the fixes that they made within the actual overview which is nice i really do love how easy this is to access it's kd plasma basically made it so i kind of have what i want out of my default not default out of my customized gnome environment easily in here without needing to add any extensions or anything like that so that's definitely nice so yeah just a quick video on kind of addressing some of the issues that i had i was very positive in my previous video and uh <laughs> 
I figured out actually doing some of the post-production work, messing around in Caden Live and all that, that were that there were definitely some issues. And they, I guarantee with the uh, 6.0.1 release, they didn't fix everything. And there's obviously a reason that various distributions wait around a little bit before putting the new desktop environments in their repositories. Even Arch Linux, I don't think you can update as of yet. In most cases, you're not going to be able to update because it, it's not really ready for full production use yet. But with all that, I'll go ahead and post down below to the changelog for the latest kind of bug fix release, as well as any other information. As you can tell, this video wasn't sponsored by anybody. It was just a kind of a quick little thing. But if you do want to go ahead and support the channel, go ahead and check out techhut.tv, subscribe to our newsletter, whether that be a free subscriber or a paid member. Also, you could go ahead and check out the uh, channel or you could join here on YouTube if that's your preference. To be completely clear, I rarely upload exclusive content. It's just kind of a way to support. But with all that, I do hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and goodbye.